Welcome to our channel Electronics on Wheel and thank you for your support. Please like, comment and subscribe if you like the content of this channel. So today's topic our DRC guidelines in capital logic. So this is an interview question as well. In many interviews this question is asked on the capital logic. So what are the DRC guidelines or how to check the DRC in the capital logic. So today we will try to understand what are the DRC guidelines. So we will try to cover these three topics. So what are the DRC guidelines in capital logic? How to check the DRC in capital logic or how to run the DRC in capital logic and what are the different DRC issues? So we will take two three examples of DRC issues like connector mismatch in or incompatible matting connectors or duplicate identifiers in the design and pin mapping of the inline connector is incorrect. So these are the some of the examples we will take. So let's start DRC guidelines in capital logic. So first question comes what are the DRC guidelines? So DRC is nothing but the design rule check and it is a verification process that identifies the potential issue inside your schematic diagram or wiring diagram based on the predefined rule. So one example if we take so suppose for power supply we take the red color wire right for the ground we take the black color wire correct. So if we want to verify this particular rule, then we have to define in the capital logic software and then it will run the DRC and it will if suppose you are not using the same color, then it will throw as an error. So it helps ensure compliance with the design standard and prevent error before manufacturing. So whatever predefined rules you have maintained in your capital logic be against them. DRC will check those rules whether you have followed in your wiring diagram or not. If you have not followed it will throw as an error. So let's see in a more detail with. So the first is the function. The DRC system detects the specific errors within a design. So you can see this is how it comes in capital logic. So here inside this CVIT there would be two options. One is error which is coming like this and other one would be the warning. So warning you can ignore but for the errors you have to clear out. So this is how these errors will come in your capital logic. Then second is error identification. So it provides a detailed message describing the issue and highlights the affected object. So under the message column if you see the device IP box fuse is unconnected. So this is the message that it is describing the issue and highlighting the affected object. So if you See this is the IP fuse box which is highlighted. So this is the component or object which is affected by this error. Then navigation then clicking on that message allow user to locate the corresponding object in the design diagram for the quick resolution. So if you click on this particular message then this will take you on the your wiring diagram and then you will open that wiring diagram in the capital logic and you can find out that what is unconnected device what is the actual issue. So these are the process you are going to do in the DRC and this is the purpose of DRC. Then you can see here some of the category they have mentioned. So connectivity naming consistency. So what type of error it is then under the check it will further give you the idea about the particular error like suppose it is unconnected unconnected device under the connectivity then naming what is the problem in naming invalid name of the component then uh, in consistency then included on the bomb with no part number. So this is how this particular box will pop up in your capital logic software and it will describe the problem. So some of the examples if you take like connectivity and pin assignment. So unconnected pins identify the pin that are not connected to any wire. So suppose one example I gave you. So suppose this is your ECU and you have already defined the five pins in the ECU here. So you have given already for the four pins some connections with the through the wire but here one pin is open ended. So it will ask you that this particular pin is not connected anywhere. So this is how this will give you the error. So let's see some other errors like connector component check it will do then it will show you the incompatible matting connectors then wire and signal check then in that it can show you the incorrect wire gauge selection short circuit 
positions it can to tell you then open circuit then network and topology check then logical and electrical rule check so these are the some of the uh, use so all these issues can be thrown in the drc reports so let's see in the capital logic 2021 what are the checks it does so build a list check if i say the connectivity shared wire terminating at more than two pins shared connector mated to multiple device pins so if you want to understand the first statement like shared wire terminating at more than two pins so one particular wire is connecting suppose this is a1 device and this is your a2 device okay so pin number one from here then pin number two from here but suppose the same wire is connected you have connected mistakenly from pin number one to from the inside a to itself to pin number three as well okay so if what does it mean that this particular shared wire is terminating at more than two pins so it is going to pin number two as well and pin number three as well and it is not possible so this is how the drc connectivity errors will come as a pop-up then consistency check inconsistent shared pay uh, shared pin connection across the design library consistency then naming then these are the appearance errors then connectivity in interconnect not terminating at pin invalid device termination net not terminating at a pin unconnected connector unconnected device unconnected displaces so all these errors will come in the capital logic when you are running the drc guidelines or drc checks if you want the detailed video on all the errors you please comment in the comment box if i get 100 comments on that i will make one by one that what are the errors and how to clear them but please support please like comment and subscribe this channel so now we will try to understand how to how to run the drc so drc can be run in two ways so first is if you are working on logic then and if you are working on xc so you know that logic is used for the schematic diagram or wiring diagram and x is used for the 2d diagram so when you are running for the logic diagram or wiring diagram then you can go to the tools once you go to the tools under this you hit on the design rule check then you will be having this particular pop-up or window then design rule check inside this logic design and build list so under the logic design you will be having this run option once you click on this run option then this window will come like this so this will as earlier described that this will give you the errors and then it will it will explain what type of error it is then what type of category under this and this will explain further the particular check as well so this is coming under the logic if you are doing in the XC, then what you have to do you have to go to the workflow in under workflow you will be having the drc option then select the drc button then run the drc processing so once you run once you click on the drc then design rule check window as we have seen in the logic it will appear here once you click on this run option then this window will appear so inside this you will be having capital harness xc matrix table and check so open this check option once you open this check option so similarly these are the like warning so warning you can avoid but the errors like this once it come you have to clear so review all the review all the error and fix all the drc issue before the release so this is how you run the drc in the capital logic and capital xc so let's see some of the example of the drc guidelines so this is the first error which where it is showing that this is a error and it is describing like c447f and c447m are matted in design but their library parts are not matted so what does it mean that library in consistency check is, is the error that incompatible matted connectors so what does it mean so once you click on this particular connectors so mm, you will see that this this particular window will pop up and under this you will go to the matting under this matting you will see this matting part is missing here so if you want to clear this error then what you have to do under this matting tab you have to go here you will see that there is no matting part defined for this particular so you have to fill the correct matting part number in this particular space then it will be solved
then we will see one more that duplicate identifiers in the design so suppose this particular issue is coming like splice sp701 and sp701 has the duplicate name so the issue is naming then duplicate name for the shared object in the project so if you go under this shared then you will see here that sp701 and sp701 is coming two times so what does it mean that it is duplicated splice so you have to delete one of the splice and make it same or you have to change the splice name so this is how you can solve the this issue in the in the drc so in interview many times these types of questions are asked that what type of different connectivity errors are there like unconnected connectors unconnected device what does it mean why are not terminating at a pin what does it mean so you can prepare in that way uh, this whole drc guidelines or drc checks so thank you for your time if you like the content of this video please like and subscribe thank you